Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Hope you're having a great day. Um, today, we're going to talk about the model class and we're just going to create that real quick. It's a very simple class uh, for now. The, the hard part is going to be to kind of make all the meshes and everything work together in the model class. But we'll get to that. We'll make several videos on this. But this is just a good start. Uh, so yeah, uh, but before I get started, I just want to say please check out the description box. Um, you got a bunch of useful links down there. Uh, just open it up. You got a link to Discord where you can ask me questions and other people. Also the Twitter, uh, my support page, and then you got, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And then a Linux and the Codeblocks kind of video, how to, how to compile programs from there. And also, uh, yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. But let's just get started. So the first step is going to be to add a new item, a header file. I'm just going to make a model class here. Just simple, quickly. And then I'm going to include mesh.h. I'm going to include, what else do we need? Texture.h, yeah. And then include, uh, what else, what else, what else? Shader.h. That should be fine, I think. And material as well. Include uh, material.h. Okay, so we got a bunch of things. Uh, let me just see. Yeah. All right, so class model. I'll just call it model private uh, public and then obviously we need a model constructor one thing I'm gonna do in the coming videos is I know a lot of you guys use these videos to create kind of your engines and stuff uh, very simple simple engines though but very beautiful looking ones from the from the ones you've showed me so I want to just give you a nice little uh, uh, what do you say some nice tips in how to improve for loops because you're going to be using for loops a lot and stuff and I got a video on that on my C++ tutorial as well so please check that out it's just called optimizing loops but it's a, it's a really good way to use the new C++ features and also you want to probably run in release because uh, yeah it's a lot faster I do run in debug we'll see if this does run in release if it doesn't I'll probably fix it uh, but yeah let's just get going here so I got the model class going I'm gonna go into libs and I'm just gonna include uh, include my model.h uh, class here so now we got it rolling at least now what does a model need well I'm thinking like this I'm thinking it's gonna need a material pointer material alright and it's gonna get that from outside so it's already gonna be loaded into game a thing wh when you're working with games and stuff is you don't wanna load duplicates and, and, and multiple materials you want to load everything in one place for example in game and when you create a model there you're just gonna link to that material in that array instead of duplicating it so we don't want to do that the only thing we're gonna be duplicating are the meshes um, because yeah that just this just seems good so we don't uh, manipulate the same meshes because materials and and these things you're not gonna really manipulate in the same way so that's why we need to duplicate the meshes and then we need a texture pointer override texture diffuse and then texture this is just my own making you don't need these uh, specular and this is so that the material already has textures but we can actually override them with two diffuse and specular thingies here so and then we need a std vector mesh pointer meshes okay so that's basically the things we're gonna need um, the meshes are gonna hold their own data we're probably gonna need a glm vec3 origin uh, or do you call it um, origin point. I'll just call it origin point doesn't really matter uh, and then we'll create it we'll just call it position actually it's gonna be the models main position and all the meshes are gonna kinda of move and rotate around this one position okay so that's kinda of how it's gonna work the center position basically um, so we're just gonna do glm vec3 position then we're gonna give it a material material pointer material and what else do we need uh, texture 
pointer override text diff because I don't want that long ass name. Texture override texture specular. So you see, it's not that hard really. It's just uh, it's just tedious. And then a std vector mesh pointer meshes. That's going to be our parameters coming in. And then we're just going to do this position equals position. This material equals material. This override texture or text diffuse. This override texture specular equals override text spec. Like that. And then we're going to do this for. Now we're going to use the new type of for loops that are really a lot faster. Uh, from C++11 and they do a bunch of stuff um, that helps helps us out so we got a pointer I this is gonna go through the whole not the not this meshes but meshes uh, which is the local variable we're sending in so the meshes from game right the one where we loaded all our meshes now we're just gonna copy each one out so this means that I this is actually using iterators so they they're kinda like pointers so this is gonna be pointing to one at a time each mesh in this array okay for those of you who don't know uh, but it's a really nice way to just go through a whole array automatically and really fast it's a lot faster than regular loops um, and I do explain that in my loop optimization tutorial uh, and then we're just gonna say this meshes dot push back mesh uh, I, uh, the referenced I. So there you go. Uh, wait. Whoops. No. The referenced I. There we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's just do that actually. Um, it should be a copy of it. Uh, let me just see what's going on. Meshes. Yes. Boom, 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 mesh. Object type is object mesh. Study allocator mesh. Okay. This is holding a pointer. I just want to give it a. Let's see. Oh, sorry about this. Sorry about this. I'm so dumb. New. There we go. Okay. So I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. And then we're going to make a for loop in here the same way. Or auto but don't forget this this is important you need a reference pointer or a pointer reference I instead of just a pointer okay just gonna separate those that's because we're gonna be deleting so then you need kind of the pointer reference instead of just a pointer because it it gets the pointers own address so you can delete it uh, this meshes delete I because okay, go through everything just delete everything and I think that's about everything that was new. Yeah, that's about everything. Okay, so then we're going to have functions here. And we're going to have update. And then a void render. All right. And a private function here called void update uniforms. It's going to be empty for now. But we're going to start with updating the uniforms. All right. And also we need a shader pointer shader here. I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. So just just see if you you follow through on the code here. All right. But obviously we're just going to need a shader just to kind of set the shader and everything. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go into C++ here, game CPP. And I'm just going to copy all of these. Okay. I hope you see what I'm copying. Not all of this core draw stuff. Just just this stuff alright that's all I want to copy okay and then I'm gonna also probably want to copy these but for now we'll just copy this um, but I think render itself takes care of those things let me just see mesh dot render I know it binds the vertex array but doesn't unbind them so I'm probably gonna want to unbind those okay we'll look at that just in a second but let me just put these in here so we'll update uniforms and then here this it's not an array anymore so this material 
send to shader and we'll just remove all of this and say shader okay and it's a pointer so it wants the reference there we go um, this not this just shader use okay you can use that um, and then this override diffuse texture bind and this override specular bind to those probably we'll, we'll make sure we can we can change these but we'll bind them to those for now uh, this okay so now we need to do four not the old one auto uh, reference I this meshes this meshes at or this I just I render shader okay so there we go so now we're just updating uniforms and we're rendering it in the meshes now to fix our problem I'm probably gonna want to take these and I'm probably gonna want to put that in the mesh in the bottom here just to unbind the vertex array, unbind this, unbind all active textures uh, and, and then just yeah just unbind everything for now and then clean up, I'll just call it clean up so the mesh itself will take care of that um, and I kinda wanna rely on that because I don't wanna do all that in model and in game all of this is just security it's fine we can we can keep that there uh, so that's cool alright so now we got our model class pretty much finished here I just need to kinda I think the render itself takes care of everything there wasn't anything special in update uniform so we just have to check that out update uniforms view matrix shaders no it seems fine uh, okay so now we need to game in, go into game dot h here and I'm just going to do std vector model models and this is nice this is really nice we're going to keep meshes because obviously we're going to load in meshes so I'm going to make own models models position right here um, and then game dot h init meshes void init models and just define that for us right quick game.cpp init models there we go so this models dot pushback new model and I'm gonna use some stuff I'm gonna do position glm vec 3 0 0.f obviously and then we're gonna do everything don't worry about it we're gonna make sure all the meshes kind of rotate around one axis depending on the point we're gonna do everything that is model like eventually but for now it's just important to be able to draw several models at once um, so that was the one thing and then we need a material this materials and I want to say I want to use material 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 enum uh, I guess we'll use that or just say zero like this texture diffuse this textures at position uh, two I think I had for the box texture textures at position three but uh, texture text container specular okay there we go and then this is just text container whoops see they easy all right let's see where am I here we go okay so now we got the te override textures now I just want to do meshes so this meshes in there boom all right so it's just gonna send a bunch of meshes in there uh, the ones I want okay um, what I did I, I got some problems and uh, that's because I just want to explain it quickly here um, where you are in the video right now I think I wouldn't have made any changes all I did was I added this part here so you do this alright just do that 
keep your meshes where they are. What my idea was to kind of take these meshes, remove the whole in it meshes and just kind of push a bunch of meshes before you create the model because each model is going to use different meshes, right? Uh, pretty much. And then you're just going to delete your meshes down here. That was my idea. But what happens when you delete the meshes is that you kind of delete the whole VAO and then when you try to render it in model, uh, you're going to get a, a, a bunch of problems. So you don't want to do that. Um, also make sure to delete all the meshes here exactly. So make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, so that was the problem. Um, which, which is why I just want to make sure you got all the code right. You want to have the for auto delete models here and the meshes. All right, you want both of these here. You want uh, init meshes and init models in here in the game.h in the constructor for, I think this is the constructor, right? No, this is these are just the, the private functions. Yeah, you want both of those. And then in the constructor, basically you want that as well. You want init meshes and init models. Okay, don't forget that. So everything in here should pretty much look the same. If you run into any errors or you're wondering about the code, just check out the GitHub uh, link. But this should be fine. And then when we render it, obviously we're trying to rotate the meshes here. Uh, just comment that out as well. We don't want to do that. We will rotate the model later in the next video. But just make sure you render the model here. You can remove this other stuff for now. Uh, render models. And then you update your uniforms. Don't forget this. Don't comment this out like I did. Uh, keep that. This is for all the game uniforms. So it's really important. And then we'll render that. Um, if you don't update the uniforms there, you'll kinda, you won't kind of will have your camera move and stuff. So that should be all the kind of code that I, that I messed around with. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything else. And then you can just look at all the code on GitHub as well. If we just run this, it should run properly so I, I began at the point of the video where I just switched this uh, I began to remove meshes and stuff that's the problem so if you removed anything that has to do with meshes just put it back except for the things I showed you here in the render and everything like that so I know it's a little confusing video I'm really really sorry about that but just make sure you delete everything here as well like I said but otherwise thank you so much for watching and sticking with me we'll clear everything up in the next video if there's any errors that that you have and you kind of it worked last video it doesn't work this video please just write it in the description box or on discord as well you can find the discord link and everything in the description box and yeah just drop a like subscribe if you like the content also take care best of luck and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye